The following passages are from Robert P. Jones's White Too Long, The Legacy of White Supremacy in American Christianity. This is page 219. Although the Atlanta Constitution reported that my great-grandfather's death was an accident and no evidence was ever publicly presented otherwise, according to my great-uncle, Isham's co-workers blamed his death on an African-American working that day. The next day, as my great-uncle told a story, the black man they singled out was, quote, accidentally, end quote, crushed by a heavy cart of clay at the mine. Now I'm skipping to page 220. As I reflected on it now, the word that comes to me to describe my great uncle's disposition as he told the story is satisfaction. While he never spelled out its full meaning, the story seemed designed to convey a reassurance about our place in the social pecking order, that even if accidental, the death of a white man would demand retribution. When a white man was killed, in other words, the universe lurched sideways. Retaliatory racial violence promised to balance the scales, reinscribing white dominance particularly through its arbitrariness. And end the passage. Israel is currently fighting a colonialist war of extermination against Palestinians. As I say these words on uh, late November 2023. Uh, you know, obviously Israel isn't the first uh, uh, state to fight a colonialist war of extermination. The United States is built on colonialist wars of in- extermination. Um, you know, the Mongols, obviously, when they had uh, perceived any resistance, tried to make examples of um, of uh, the people who resisted so that others wouldn't resist. Uh, the Romans were famous for uh, the ancient Romans were very were famous for uh, such great destruction against their defeated enemies, uh, and obviously, so this is this is not a new pattern of, of history. Um, and in addition to the goal of deterring others from resisting, obviously, there's other goals such as uh, finding resources to exploit, uh, etc. But when you're on social media and you are um, hearing comments from people cheering on the death of Palestinians, uh, just remember that part of this motivation is um, an inherent racism um, that uh, there is cosmic satisfaction in punishing the people who uh, inflicted harm on the dominant group. You know, for this reason, the global struggle for the liberation of Palestine is, and and basically in in all indigenous peoples, is a revolt against an order where the strong get to dictate to the weak how, you know, how they live. And that's why, obviously, there's so much resistance from um, the most powerful sectors of society all over the world, uh, but at the same time, the gains that can be made by achieving a just solution for the indigenous peoples of Palestine and the indigenous peoples all over the planet are immense and worth fighting for.